What's up, guys? It's your boy. Big day. Well, big evening. Just got off of work. It's a Sunday. So, getting that OT in. But, uh, with that being said, it's a big day. I'm going to turn this camera around. Let you guys know what's going on. You see it. She's hooked up to the trailer. That only means one thing. That means... And she drove up there on her own power. She's going to paint, guys. Going to paint. So, with that being said, we're going to run around this car, pick out the few flaws that I know of, and um, we're going to give you a before and an after. So, we're going to start back here from the back. If you guys follow the channel, and you remember, this is the original trunk. It has the RPO code in it for W2 Grand National. This whole section right out here was rotted out. I mean... Weird. I mean, I know they get the specs in them, but it was gone. Still had the emblem. I have the emblem. Um, so that's the good thing. But it was right out. My body man took care of that. Uh, recreated a piece of metal, welded it in, shaved it down, and roughed it in because he knew we were going to paint this car. So it'll get its final touches at the end. So this is the back of the car. Um, we are going to be deleting um the impact strips so we're gonna go flush mount delete the impact uh strips fill in the holes paint it black um looking down here got a couple nicks that's no big deal um looking up and if you guys did not know these cars come factory with a flaw in them right here i don't know if you can see it in this time of day but there's a a hump right here that's where they actually seen they actually mold the top of the roof to the car so that's factory and we're going to leave that um moldings are coming off moldings are going to be gone so we're going to go moldless that was an option for this car um i do have the options package that sticker winter sticker so that will be coming off he'll be getting all this off which somebody already stole the door ones before i got it um got your grand national emblems I don't know, guys. You think I should get some new ones? Ah, they look a little rough. We may have to opt and get some new ones. Ah, man. Didn't want to, but we may we may wait till later. I don't know. Let's see. But, um, coming on down the car. Look down this side. I got one pendant here. But it's pretty straight. Front end, it's 86, so it has the chrome grill. Like I said, the front, I'm missing the impact strip. So that's the reason we're going to shave the bumpers. So the bumpers will get shaved. And looking down the driver's side, she's smooth as butter. This actual, I, it's hard for me to say, I believe this car has been repainted, but this fender on this side actually doesn't look bad. I could take some compound and bring that bad boy back out, but we're getting the whole car painted. Hood is good. I think there's one little pendant right there, right at the beginning of the cow. No big deal. Looking down the body. Like I said, they stole the moldings before I got it. Still got those, so. But they're coming off, getting deleted. This is the only rust spot I had other than the one on the trunk. And he gonna cut that out, fix that. So that'll be good. And that's the rest of the body, guys. I got a scratch here. No big deal. Scratch here. So, you know, that's light stuff. Overall, this thing is pretty doggone smooth. Um, I do have some dents right here. If you can see them across there. Don't know how they got there. But I'm going to dress, uh, point them out to them. And, uh, you know, it's got new bumper fillers. So those are not the factory bumper fillers. I'm also going to have him, uh, when he take the bumper off, we're going to mold that down, probably fiberglass that together and make that one piece because those are two pieces. Um, but overall, they actually fit pretty daggone good. I ain't going to lie to you. And these are the eBay $98 ones. So they fit pretty good. But that's overall the car. Um, I'm going to go in the house, grab the paint, show you what paint we guys were getting, and then I'm going to hit the road. So the next time you will see this car... It will be painted and will give you a, an after effect. So let me go grab this paint. We'll talk about the paint. And um, 
I'll be back. All right, guys. So this car will be going back base coat clear and it will be jet black. So we're going to put it back jet black. Not quite sure what this factory color is, but I want a real deep, dark black. So we go back jet black. Um, go check out Auto Paint HQ. They don't sponsor me. I wish they did, but they don't sponsor me. But we will give a review on how their paint is. And maybe we can get the painter to uh, give us his insight on how this paint flowed, how it sprayed, and go on from there. So, you know, you can get this kit for a very good deal. You get a gallon of black paint. And you get a choice of low, medium, or high uh, reducer slash hardener that comes in the kit. Um, not bad. Comes with mixing cups. Oops, I don't know if you guys saw that. Mixing cups, stairs, and um, and strainers. So, you know, it comes with everything you kind of need. Uh, my painter is going to supply the clear. So this car is supposed to get about six to seven coats of clear. Um, it's supposed to be buffed and polished when I get it back. So we'll see how long that takes, but no big deal. I just want a good job. But um, yeah, go check them paints out. They have all different types of paint, candies, metallics, pearls, um, additives, but go check them out. They're super affordable. Um, they have a website and you also can find a lot of their stuff on Amazon and eBay. So go check them out and we'll let you know, you know, how it turns out, how it sprays. But um, great prices for what you're getting. Um, I'll just give you this. I priced jet black paint and the reducer from my local Napa. And they wanted almost $400. And I'm not quite sure if that was the net, was it Nason or their premium. But that's still high for black paint. It's just high. Um, I actually sprayed uh, uh, my, my last... A couple last race cars, Aqua Blue Metallic, and I paid that same price for a metallic paint. For a Jet Black, they wanted the same price, so I thought it was a little ridiculous, so I went online. So, with that being said, we're about to hit the road, guys, but this is your last look at the car before she comes back for paint. So, it's your boy. It's your boy, Jordy B. I'm out. Next time you see this car, it will be shining. So, like, share, subscribe. Um, we still got stuff coming in for this car has to go on this car um, And we'll be bringing you more videos. So catch you later